Our next poet is a wicked sister. She speaks to years and years of oppression. She speaks to the ongoing struggle for human rights. With her poem, I Can't Breathe, make some noise for Sammy Rhymes. They've been killing us softly for centuries, got us caved inside cells and cemeteries, racial eugenics, profiling and slavery, annihilation and police brutality, constantly suffering, physically and mentally, all in the name of white supremacy. It happened in the past and it's happening presently. A lot of the same happening a little differently and watching the stairs become a pleasantry, which is presently unpleasantly being televised and even captured in cinematography, a worldwide issue, a subject of humanity. That's why it's important that we collectively learn our history and study its geography. Black lives matter, we say this tirelessly. These peaceful protests are starting to take its toll and take the life out of me. I can't breathe and I'm tired of living breathlessly. Forced to inhale the stench of injustices regularly. Trying to excel freedom, but they're not letting me. It's like we're expected to fight for freedom and justice indefinitely. But I'm tired of fighting. I don't have a lot of fight left in me. Black and Muslim, so I'm considered the enemy. They've been trying to take the X from me and put an end to me. What's the point in having all these human rights policies when there's oppressors and supremacists amongst the authorities. Always being judged when there's no one defending me. It's only attackers that I can see, and they're constantly attacking me. They want to see the back in me, because they don't like the black in me. So long as I'm breathing successfully, they're going to keep going at me and have me saying I can't breathe until I can't actually breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's special, people. You write some very intense poetry. And do you think that what's happening in terms of the George Floyd incident and all these things that are happening currently, do they really impact your poetry? Do they change you in any way? Honestly, like, I write... I don't just write based on the times. I feel like I can do this piece in five years and, unfortunately, I'm still going to be saying the same thing. Yeah. You know? Um, so this particular poem's actually triggered by the George Floyd incident. This was an angry free write. I just wrote this straight away. This is my first time performing it. Yeah, throw your words yeah. You heard it here first. Sammy Ryan's people. Thank you. Thank you.